Hi my friends, welcome back. So I'm going to continue teaching you the most common fault on a deed motherboard. So this is basically part three, part one and part two, the link in the description. So let's get started. But please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And for anyone who want to accelerate learning, I can be your mentor if you join me in the Patreon page. And also I have a website with tons of articles about hardware repair. All links in the description. So guys, we have seen that the cause number one is the input jack. I told you that you have to pay attention to these terminals. If there is any dry, the 19 volt that we have here will not pass to the current sense resistor, as you can see here in both sides, of course. I told you that the current sense resistor is the bridge between the input voltage and all circuits in the motherboard. So if this resistor is open the 19 volt or the b plus will not pass to other circuits in the motherboard including as you can see the 5 volt we have b plus and also in 3.3 volt circuits so the b plus is here because the current sense resistor is good also we have 5 volt in this big inductor and as you can see 3.3 volt and the same thing for the charge circuit, we have 19 volts because the current sense resistor is good. And also for the CPU circuit, this is basically the back of the CPU circuit. Also, we have 19 volts in all input component for the CPU. So guys, as I told you, don't neglect to check the dry in the power jack and the current sense resistor because this small component is the bridge between the input and all circuits in the motherboard. So basically this is the second cause. So the third cause guys is the protection component. It could be diodes, inductor or fuses, then switches. As you can see the first switch, 19 volt in both sides, the second switch, 19 volt in both sides as you can see and we have of course the charge circuit so but the charge circuit is good is good why because here we have the control signal as you can see 1.78 for this mosfet and also here we have 3.8 volt as control signal for the first mosfet why for beginner why i check here the control signals guys because here this is the gate why because i have this dot means three pin for search do you see we have 19 volt in the first pin 19 volt in the second 19 volt in the third and the fourth one is the gate we have 3.8 without this control signal 3.8 this 19 volt in the search will not pass to the side Okay, and the same here, we have the dot here, as you can see, we have the dot and the white mark in this MOSFET, we have PU4007, so means this is the first pin for search, the second pin, the third pin, and over here we have the control signal, as you can see, so 19 volt will pass from this side to this side, so the charge circuit is doing its job correctly, okay guys? And also guys, if we check this MOSFET, okay, if we check this MOSFET, we're gonna find 19 volt in one side, just in one side, but in the other side, nope. Why guys? Because basically this MOSFET is for what? This is the switch for the battery connector, okay? This is the switch for battery connector. So when we connect the battery and we remove the adapter, okay, so the switch will work. And of course, the switch also is connected to the current sense resistor because the, the motherboard could work using the adapter in the side or the battery in the side. Okay, that's why we find 19 volt here. But if we use the battery and we remove the adapter, we're gonna find here 12 volt in the side and in the side. And guys, if we check here, we're gonna find the control signal. Do you see? We have here 19 means what exactly guys we have here 19 19 means this mosfet is off the mosfet is off because guys what is the difference between mosfets there is n channel 
and p-channel. So this MOSFET is what? Is p-channel. For p-channel, it should get here a negative voltage in order to be activated. But for n-channel, it get in this, in the gate a positive voltage to be activated. So here, 19 volt means this, this one is not activated. But once it gets here, for example, minus 3 volt or minus 4 volt, it will be activated. Okay? I hope, guys, that you understand about N channel and P channel. Of, of course, you're going to find a lot of videos where I teach you the difference between N channel MOSFET and P channel MOSFET. So basically, the third cause is the diode, the projection component, and the fourth cause here we have switches, and the fifth cause is the charge IC. What about the sixth one? The sixth cause is the BIOS, the basic input output system. Where is the BIOS? Over here, guys. Here we have the BIOS. So if the firmware inside the BIOS is corrupted, the motherboard will be dead motherboard. Of course, the motherboard can work sometimes, but you will get a black screen. So basically to check if the MOSFET is receiving its voltage 3.3 volt, we can just check the pin number 8. We have 3.3 volt. Good. We have 3.3 volt. Why? For beginner, why this one is pin number 8? As you can see, we have this white mark here. We have this dot over here. Means this is the pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, guys, we have 3.3 volts. Means the BIOS receives its working voltage 100%. Successfully 100%. Okay, so the BIOS should work 100%. If it doesn't work, means the firmware inside it is the bad one. And how can we know if the firmware is good or not? When you get a new bootable, a new boot laptop, or you get a black screen, you have LEDs are on, but you have a, a black screen. All these signs means you have a problem with the firmware. So, seven, what we have to check? The power button. Do you see, guys? This is the power button. If we check, let's check this side, we have 3.3 volt in this side, and this side, we have zero volt. This side connected to the ground, and this side we have 3.3 volts. So, please, many technicians, ignore the power switch. If you have a failed, a shorted switch, means the 3.3 volt will be always in touch with the ground, means you will get a dead board, guys. Okay? So, please pay attention also to this power button. And how this power button works? So, we have here, guys, 3.3 volt. If I press the button, as you can see, 0 volt, 3.3 volt, 0 volt, 3.3 volt, 0 volt. This is how the switch works. But when you get always like this, 0 volt, like this, okay, guys, means you have problem with the board. Means the, this one is shorted. It's not good. You have to replace it.